All right guys, it's Bear Mountain here, back with the next part of the coffee table build. Now I tried to talk whilst I was working and I found a problem. I talk way too much, which you might not think is a problem, but when I'm editing these videos down from about an hour to nine minutes, it means I'm cutting myself off mid conversation and nothing makes sense. Anyway, back to the build. So what you're going to want to do is take a decent sturdy stave and we're going to essentially attach it to the bottom of the barrel. Now you're going to have to make sure you line this up in the middle to ensure that the table ends up being level. So to ensure we didn't end up with any wonky legs, we're going to use a really simple technique. Take anything flat and straight that you've got lying around. I just happen to have a few bits of pallet wood and then we're going to use a spirit level to ensure everything is at the same angle, nice and level. As you can see, we've got two angles that we care about. We've got the side to side of the barrel where we're going to get the most amount of deflection and we're going to have the actual width of the barrel which will determine the tilt. Both of these angles are important to make sure we have a nice flat table. Um, so take your time, make sure you do it right. But if there is any sort of deflection left at the end, you can use a sanding wheel to just bring down the edges of the staves to make sure everything is flat. Uh, I built a rig at the end. By rig, I mean I put some planks of wood on it. And you could use that just to make sure everything is nice and level and just sand it down until it is. As you start to put screws in to secure the stave, you'll find that it might move about, this is okay. Just make sure it's centered on where you originally took your sight glass readings and by putting in more screws, we'll be able to change that angle and get it level again. By putting five screws, with one in the center and four on the edges or the corners, you'll be able to tighten them differently to affect the angle of the stave. So if you want to move it more towards the right, loosen the ones on the left, tighten the ones on the right, and at the end, tighten everything up. Frequent checks with the sight glass on both your angles, left and right, forwards and backwards, they help. They make sure you're going in the right direction and just keep at it until you get nice and level. Also, if you have an idea of a tool or a process on how to do this a lot easier, <laughs> And a lot less time consuming than this, let me know, write in the comments, because I just went ahead and used what was in the workshop, but if there's a better way to do it, let me know. Just to show how strong these staves are, you can lift up the barrel just from one stave, so having the barrel rest on it isn't going to be a problem. This is the pattern I was talking about. You have your centre screw which keeps the stave centred on the middle of the barrel and then you have your four corners to adjust to give you the correct angle to make sure everything is level and it all lines up. Prepare these staves, all I've done is taken a grinder with a sanding disc and lightly gone over to take the top layer off. It's the same as what I normally do with the barrels, you've seen it in the other videos, the early videos on how to sand the barrel. Same process, gives you that lovely wood grain. As you might have seen in the key hook build, try not to use a brand new sanding disc because they sometimes cut too deep and you lose a lot of the wood grain uh, detailing. So rough them up a bit on a spare bit of wood or some metal, just dull them up a little bit. You could potentially use some lower grit sandpaper, but again, I use what I have and it works, so <laughs> I'm sticking with it. So of course we don't want the coffee table to rock, we want to make sure that both the legs are level. I feel like I've said level so many times in this video. Make sure they're, they're level at the same angle, then you'll get a nice straight, straight coffee table that won't rock. I think it looks quite nice. 
I didn't want the legs to stick out too far and I didn't want it sitting too high. It's a coffee table, I want my drinks on it, my coffee, and I want to be able to stick my feet on it, which is harder to do when it's a taller table. A lot more comfortable to have it low profile. And we've yet to put a top on it, so that'll add about another inch of wood and height on top of the coffee table. That's gonna be the next video. So make sure you subscribe for that one. I will try and get that one out a lot quicker than I did this one. This is the last check to make sure everything is level and ready for the next part of the build, putting the top on the coffee table. Probably include in that video as well, the finishing of the barrel, doing a nice stain and clear coating to seal everything in. And then we'll have some nice shots of the finished uh, coffee table. So I hope you're enjoying this. Again, if you have any ideas on what I could do to make it better, like hopefully this has made it better, me commenting. If it hasn't, let me know. I'll try something different. Go quiet, talk less, talk more. Let me know.